have been decided, and Ivanov and Sozanov, former champions, and so to a Gideon and Sulkamolio right at the top of the draw. So it's possible uh, that uh, the defending champions, the Sun and Seti one, they've uh, yet to play their match against Endo and Watanabe, but it's possible that we could have three of uh, former champions pairs in the semi-finals tomorrow. Well, after that men's doubles, we turn our attention now to women's doubles and two pairs who each won four World Tour titles last year. Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, the number three seeds, the former world number one and three-time world championship silver medalist, up against Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young of Korea, and the number five seeds, the Koreans. Well, when we look at the women's doubles draw from the quarter-final stage, the thing that strikes me first of all is that seven of the eight seeds got through. Polly and Rahayu, the number eight seeds, lost in the very first round. But only three different nationalities at quarter-final stage. Three pairs from Japan, three from Korea, and two from China. It makes it the least diverse a discipline of all five disciplines here at the All England Championships. Lee So Hee and Shin Sung Chan, the number four seeds, will play against Du Yue and Lee Hyun Wei, who beat last year's beaten finalists in the quarterfinal earlier today. Uh, but uh, this will be the fifth meeting between these two pairs, as you can see. And of the previous four, Fukushima and Hirota have won three of them, including the last time they met, which was the quarterfinal of the Denmark Super 750 event last year. An hour and 11 minutes for 21-18 in the deciding game. Second meeting between these two pairs at this championships, at the All England Championships. They met two years ago in the second round, and Fukushima and Hirota uh, must have won that encounter because two years ago it went on to reach the final. Who will receive? Kim. Kim. Kim to receive. Yeah. This side. So, as far as the Japanese pair is concerned, this is a Sayaka Hirota, 25 years of age. Uh, born in uh, Kumamoto Prefecture on the island of Kushu, the most southern of the four main islands that make up Japan. They are former world number ones, as you can see. A total of 42 weeks as world number ones uh, across four different spells, but currently number three. Yuki Fukushima is the older of the two. She's 26 already, born in... Yatsushiro City in Kumamoto Prefecture. And they haven't had the best of starts to the year. Two second round losses in the Malaysian Masters and Indonesian Masters, despite being the number two seeds in both of those tournaments. In the first round, they beat the 2018 World Junior Champions, Liu Xuan Xuan and Xia Yuting. And in the second round, beat the winners of the Denmark Open. Last year, Bert Ma and Jong Kyung Ung having dropped the opening game, won 21 12 in the deciding game. So to Kim So Young, 27 years of age from Daegu, which means Large Hill, it's the fourth largest city in the Republic of Korea. Uh, they are one place down from their career high of four. They spent one week on the 14th of January earlier this year at number four in the world. Making their third consecutive appearance here at the All England as a pair, been in the last 16, the last two years. Kong Hee Young, as you can see, is 23 years of age from Dae Jeon. And not only four titles last year, but seven finals. Now, as you can see, they've beaten two uh, pairs from Thailand, Super Jirakun and Terak Tanachai in the first round. Close second game there, as you can see. And then Kitty Harakun and Prajongjai in the second round yesterday, 21-13, 21-15 in 46 minutes. 
So Gavin Smith is our umpire from England. And these two pairs highly successful in world terms. Nicola Reed, our service judge, also from England. What I think what was quite astonishing with this pair last year is their four titles won at four different levels of tournament. Malaysian Masters, the Super 500, Australian Open, Super 300, Indonesian Open, Super 1000, and the Fuzhou China Open, a 750 event. Add to that the fact that they were in their third consecutive World Championship final. Ladies and gentlemen, third time, on my right, medalists. Yuki Fukushima, Sayaka Hirota, Japan. On my left, Kong Hee Yong, Kim So Young, Korea. Yuki Fukushima to serve to Kim So Young, Laval. Play. So the number three seeds and three times World Championship silver medalists, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. Far side of the court, in this quarter final underway. For the number five seeds, Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young, they are looking today uh, to get through to a first ever Super 1000 semi final. Twice been quarter finalists last year at the Indonesian and China Opens. Both of those, the other two Super 1000 events to add to the All England Championships. That's a nice drop shot from Kim So Young, who was actually Service in over. her second All England quarter final here today two. because in 2014 she reached the quarter final with Jang Ye Na, the left hander, with whom she also reached number four in the world ranking. Oh, that wasn't the best of serves, was it? That was a shocker. Service over, three, one. So, Steen, can we expect some long rallies? Because both these pairs have got excellent defences, although I suspect both of these pairs are going to look to try and attack. But because the defences are so good, we're probably going to see lots of long rallies. I would expect so, yeah, definitely. And... Uh, Thinking about um, the previous match in men's doubles, uh, drift alongside the court, not much, but still enough to to impact the game, in my opinion. Um, and drift coming from uh, the women in white, Shima and Hirota, towards uh, Kim and uh, Kong. A little bit sideways drift from left to right as well, but. Um, not really something Five, that is um, a big significant in the uh, big significant thing in, in the women's doubles. So I would expect Fukushima and Hirota to have an easy task of uh, killing their um, service over attacking chances Two, on um, on the Koreans here in the first game. Slight hesitation there as to whether she should play the shuttle or Three, not. Five. Yeah, it didn't really look as it was close to being long. Normal attacking position from uh, the Japanese team with uh, Fukushima working on from the back court, pretty much uh, Four, playing five. the role of uh, playmaker, meaning that uh, she should uh, try and put so much pressure on uh, the opponents in terms of smashes and uh, variation of uh, her attack that um, 
eventually Hirota can um, intercept on the front court, but we know that Hirota is also capable of working her own way forward from the back court and scoring. Yeah. Five. All. Like, uh, with some with Ellis language against Ivanov Sosunov. If the Koreans are not disciplined, they will run into situations like this where they attack, but a little bit out of position and uh, easy for the Japanese player to defend and uh, score on the counter attacking That's a opportunity. Wonderful. That's a wonderful smash there, Tony. Service over, six, all. Crikey, was that three hand signals? I don't know, it was definitely two. How many sets of instructions is she giving her partner? <laughs> That's a preferred Korean position with Kim Hee Young, uh, Kong Hee Young at the back court. <laughs> Service over. And, uh, Kim Soo-young on the front, but also um, strong in the um, opposite uh, positions. Kim. Service fault called. Two Service hours. fault called on. Service over. Hereafter. Seven all. Two. Super sharp from Kim So Young. Hold and flick Four. in between the two Japanese players. That one, they both left it to the other. <laughs> and it's about finding that point where nobody knows who's actually going to take it. Probably is an agreement of who's taking it if it's in between us. Mm. But the problem is then who's taking it if it's a little bit over to the one who's not taking the one that's in between us. Well played. Powering through in their attack. Service over. Nine. Eight. I feel that Fukushima and Hirota, they've dominated the match so far, but they're only two points up. Yeah. <laughs> 11 8, interval. Three point advantage, though, at the mid game interval for the number three seeds. Eight minutes into the match. 
Dubon, by Nakajima, the two coaches. So the Korean coaches, Lee Kyung Won. 11 8. Play. Was that Kim Moon Su? Yes, it was. So, former partners on opposite sides of the court. So, on the All England Championships and the first ever Olympic gold medal in Barcelona with the with Japanese coach, Park Ki Bong. over, 9-11. That's a good shot. <laughs> from Kong Hee Young. There's Lee Kyung Mom. One of, or part, or half of two different pairs that have won the All England title since the inception of the Super Series from Korea. Lee Kyung Mom won, won in 2008 with Lee Ho Jong. And three years ago, generally now, one with Lee So Hee. So he beat Chang Yena in yes. the quarterfinal. Yes, that was fascinating, wasn't it? Former All England champions now in different partnerships and playing each other earlier today. Oh, that's good judgment, isn't it? So back level. Over 12 11. Uh, well played. Good pressure applied by Service Kong Hee Young, so this woman 12, here could uh, intercept. Four. Good judgment. Service over 13, 12. There was a time, Steen, when we went through a period here at the All England Championships when Korean play pairs in the women's doubles absolutely dominated between 1986 and 1995, so 10 consecutive All Englands. Korean pairs won nine out of those 10 women's doubles titles. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, I remember that was, uh, and then uh, Gifei and Gujun emerged from uh, China. Yeah. After that, and, uh, so and Korea 13. fell down a little bit. Yeah. But I think there's been a real resurgence of Korean women's doubles over the last 12 months or yeah. so. Yeah. Very interesting. Um, Women's World Team Championships uh, coming up in May in uh, Copenhagen. 14, 13. Korea, Japan, and China. Obviously, three very, very strong teams. But it is a little concerning. I was emphasizing the fact that at the quarterfinal stage of this All England, only three different nationalities involved. Yeah, I, I think it's very concerning. I think it's very concerning. It's, it's really difficult to um, to challenge these three big women's doubles nations. Yeah, and when you see rallies like that, you can understand why it's so difficult, yeah. because it's paid at, at such a pace that both pairs are vying for the attack, as we suggested and thought they would. Yes. But it's so difficult to get through. It is. And it's also, I mean... You need a lot of strong players to find the best pairings. We've seen Korea switch. That's that's a diff that's an, uh, where they're totally uh, totally opposite Korea and Japan. Japan they play in the same pairs, and they don't switch. Whilst no. Korea they switch over and over and over to find the pairs that are working. And uh, right now it seems they've found some good solutions. Uh, but, but it's it's funny or interesting the uh, difference in approach. First time in this opening game, 15, the Koreans have been 14. in the lead. I remember, I think it was last year or the year before, I counted how many Japanese women's doubles there were in top 100 in the world ranking, and I counted 14. And all unique women's doubles. That means that no player was uh, part of two women's doubles of those 14. So yeah. 28. Top 100 women's doubles players. Yeah, that's remarkable. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Yuki Fukushima. Service over, 15. All. Well, given that statistic, Steen, that you've just given us, it's a little surprising that although Japanese pairs have contested three of the last four, women's doubles finals here at this All England Championships. The, a Japanese pair has only won the women's doubles title once since both the Koreans and the Chinese pairs started playing in World Badminton. Yeah. That was just four years ago with the Olympic champions, Matsutomo and Takahashi. 16, 15. Defensive shot. Almost certainly the longest rally of the match so far. In this phase here, both pairs are trying to create an advantage that's bigger than being 60% uh, favorite to win the rally without falling below 40% to win it. So they want to search for the options, but on the other hand, they won't risk being counterattacked. So uh, Service over. It, it uh, requires 16, the players to make four. really, really good choices to figure out when to sort of um, um, lift and, and play the uh, safe defense that gives you good uh, opportunities to stay in the rally. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yes, that's super sharp. Well, lead fluctuating between the two pairs. 16. Look at that. That's a brilliant well, shot. Well done by Kong Hee Young because she takes that little step extra in. You know, sometimes, Steen, you sense that the open game is really important. I don't think it is in this instance. I you don't? No. Who do you think are going to win? I'm, I'm not going to predict who's going to win, <laughs> but I think that either pair most definitely has the capability of coming 18, back, regardless of who wins the opening game. Yeah. I don't feel it's as crucial as sometimes you you just sense the opening game is really important. I, I think uh, Fukushima and Hirota, they have to win the first game. Really? Yeah. Good shot. Because of the drift? Yes. Okay. I favor the Koreans when they change ends. Get and get ready, says Park Dubon. One structuring some kind of victory dance. <laughs> the court from Sayaka Hirota. Twenty game point seventeen. Three interceptions. And now three game point opportunities. Opening game, the two the number three seeds. First game won by Yuki Fukushima. The beaten finalists from two Sayana years ago, Hirota, Yuki 21, Fukushima and 17. Sayaka Hirota. 21-17. 21 minutes for that opening game. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
start of this second game. Second game. Love all. Player. Placement of the smash across the body. One, the right hip or between the right hip and the right shoulder. Yeah, it's a beautiful placement. Yeah. We talk about it almost every time we watch women's doubles, Jill, the efficiency of once in a while going all cross on the cross player. <laughs> Goodness, how did she get that back? Yeah! Managed to get back the neck cord. Hirota. Service over. One all. She was waiting for Two, one. exactly where the smash was coming. Great drive. Look at that. Yeah, she's taking a step in towards that middle. She did it all as well in the um, first game. So once in a while, they need to go all cross on uh, Kong Hee Young there. But I think the most important thing is variation and patience. And they can easily fire some clears uh, Fukushima and Hirota. But it has to be attacking clears. Um, so they um, eventually test the solidity of the uh, Korean defense, not in terms of getting it back, because I think they're getting a, a lot back, but also um, whether they can uh, control the drift, whether they can uh, keep it inside the lines. Yeah, I think there they're just too powerful for from the Japanese. Service over. Three, two. He apologizes. Service over three all. Both went for it. Yeah. yeah. And then they were way out of position. No one covering the net. Service over. Four, three. Yeah, it's well played, though, from Kong Yong. This error of the match. Yeah. 
that's twice in this second game. They've smashed over. onto the forehand Five, defense of Kong as she's four. waiting yeah. on the slight yeah. cross court, basically down the middle, but she's waiting on that forehand defense and she's just driving straight down the forehand side of the Japanese pair for outright winners. They're going to have to change the direction of that smash. And at the moment, there's too many mistakes Service on the Korean over. side. Five, four. quite as comfortable at the front of the courts <laughs> no. Fukushima. But as you've been pointing out recently, she's improved she's a lot. She's improved. Seven, five. But she needs, still needs a bigger chance than uh, Hirota to put it away. Shot clear, and uh, she was on her way back. Service over, six, Here it comes. Seven. It's way too short, and uh, Hirota can hit on uh, Kim Soo Young, who's on her on the way back from the net. Um, Fukushima and Hirota. Seven. Oh. Um, the Koreans are not really burying their attack enough, I think. A half smash from Kong Hee Young, yeah. wasn't it? Service over eight, seven. When she gets involved at the front of the court, Sayaka Hirota does make a huge difference.
That's nice. Yeah, I like the change, change of pace there, change of angle with the block. Yeah, very good work from Hirota once again. And very worrying from um, uh, for um, Kim and uh, Kong. Because they're really having trouble penetrating the uh, Japanese defense. Japanese pair have been varying the pace just a little bit more they have, than their opponents. They have. They've been varying it, been patient, and they've stood their ground in the defense. And that, um, yeah, obviously, I didn't think they could do that in, um, in the first game because I thought the Koreans would have the um, upper hand here in the second. And so far, they've been uh, doing great, the two women in white there. Ten. Oh, that's another yeah. nice block. The cross block, very efficient. 11-8. Yeah. And on a run of four straight points, Fukushima and Hirota have a three-point advantage in their second game, having already won the first. It's funny the way that, even in Japanese, he says half smash and drop shot. <laughs> But not in in my English accent. Oh. <laughs> oh. Call one twenty seconds. Call one twenty seconds. run of points going? The answer is yes. 7-8 down, 5 straight eight. points. 12-8 half. Eight. Fantastic play. Yeah, absolutely. It's really done damage to the Koreans, those eight. drop shots and variations and Cross blocks in the defense. Hey. Hey. The block neutralizes, totally neutralizes. Yes. The Korean attack, excellent play. 14-8. What was that you were saying, Steen, about the Koreans would have the upper hand in the second game? Um, it was another tournament. <laughs> 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 but due to brilliant play by the Japanese, yeah. I've been proven totally wrong. And also a little bit, I mean, what, what have the Koreans changed here? Mm. Not really anything, in my opinion. Oh, right. 
This is an amazing run of points. Oh, did she hurt her back there? 15, eight. Eight straight points. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Look at that. How can you not hear, hurt your back when you contort it like that? Okay. Finally, the run of points comes to an end. Service over. But I think that could Nine. prove decisive. Yeah, it should be decisive. It should be. Rally of the match so far. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, it is. Longest rally by five shots. 56 shots. Brilliant badminton. Service over 16 9. few times that uh, Kong Hee Young has been able to um, set something up in her so attack. It's over 10, 16. Mm -hmm. It actually looks like um, Fukushima and Hirota, they're more comfortable playing this side here. They're totally confident in their defense. Mm. Well, she's just managed to get the umpire. Yep. 11, 16. Wow, <laughs> got him on the chin. <laughs> She worked hard for that, didn't she, Kong Hee Young? I wonder what percentage of shots she hit in that rally. Sign that she's gotten better on the front court. Yep, very much so. Fukushima.
quality rally. That's a lovely change of pace. Well, we noticed it earlier, Steen, didn't we, that the Koreans weren't varying the pace as much as yeah. the Japanese pair, and finally, they have there, yeah. and it's paid dividends. Yeah. Lovely drop shot from Kim So Young. Thank you. Ready to play? Service over, 30, 17. What defence? Yeah, but it's the change of pace again. The disguise drop from Kim So Young, and all of a sudden, it seems possible once again for this Korean pair. Seven point points adrift at nine sixteen. Five of the last six points. Oh, you get it. It's yeah. Now there's two points in it. 15, 17. Wow. They almost <laughs> rolled over, rolled back, and rolled over again. <laughs> Oh, he, oh, it bounced. 16, 17. Yeah, I didn't hear the umpire call it, but he immediately changed the scoreboard. But it was a, a fault that the shuttle hit the ground first. Yeah, yeah. great spot, great spot. Yeah. Thank you. Well, this is utterly amazing. Ready to play. Seven of the last eight points. What were we saying about it should be decisive? That's it should be. 16-9 lead. And suddenly they've found the key to the Japanese defense. And perhaps they got a little bit complacent as well. Hey! Fukushima and Hirota. Another rally to uh, sort of keep the advantage for Fukushima and Hirota. So the so far. And that may just 18, steady the nerves of 16. the Japanese pair.
chat. Come back in. Well, they're challenging. Kim So Young yeah. challenge called in. That sideways drift you've been talking about, Steen. I think you're right. I think that may have brought yeah, it back in. It was still close. Yeah. It's maximum. Just a little bit of the line it caught, but um, it looked like it uh, drifted towards the uh, oh, line. Yeah. It did. You're right. Unsuccessful. You're right. One challenge remaining. So, 19, a two-point advantage for Fukushima and Hirota, and two points away from booking their place in the semi-final. What would be a third consecutive semi-final? Suddenly uh, powering through. Yeah, over. working really hard. 18, 19. Yuki. No, 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 no. Yuki. Shuttle is okay. Play. Oh, delight on the Korean coaching bench. <laughs> Just one point the deficit. Crucial is this. Needs a good serve. Yeah, gets it. Oh, yeah, that's a good shot. Oh, yeah. Third shot. Block. Let's go on. And it is match point opportunities. Service over 20. For the beaten match finalists points. from two years ago. 18. Two match point opportunities for Fukushima and Hirota to reach a third consecutive All England semi final. I think if they could win a match. What winner at the time of life here in all England that could help them in terms of what championships and Olympic Games that's too short. Service wow. over 19 20. On match point. They've had three match points to become world champions, lost yeah. all three of them. Yeah. Well, they get it back to Hiroshima. Uh, but the Koreans have won the points, and it's 20 all, and extra points required 20. until there's a clear two point winning margin. And it's a gutsy serve because yeah. you really have to keep it down a call, and, and uh, you're out of the tournament. Yeah. What intensity, what pace. No, oh, that was amazing. Stay on call. On call. Yeah, it's a good chance. So yeah. there's over 20 points. She wanted 20. to be certain of killing it, then. I think I think Fukushima uh, could have saved it if it had gone over because there wasn't that much angle to work with. Yeah, there are 
it does mean that it's now a third match point opportunity for the number three seeds, Fukushima and Hirota. Oh, that's a lovely block. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, after the previous oh, rally oh, where oh, she oh, missed she, an interception. If she'd missed that as well. Over. Well, that took courage from oh. Kong Hee Young. She would have been made to walk back to Korea. <laughs> 21 all. Good serve. And good return. Short. That's just ridiculous. Boy, it's in the line. Well, Inside the Koreans are challenging. I'm well, certain I'm, it was on the line. I know it was mighty close. Here we go. What does Hawkeye say? On the line. Challenge so now it's no a fourth match point opportunity for the Japanese 21. pair. Fukushima and Hirota. We thought this was going to be an easy win in this second game, but that's turning into a drama. It certainly has. Seven point advantage at one stage. Fukushima and Hirota. <laughs> Hirota has served too short on, uh, wasn't it on 2018? Yeah. Now flicker. Just a flicker. That's good defense. This time on their fourth match point opportunity. Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota convert and beat Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young in two straight games. But my goodness me, yeah, Steen, we thought that was uh, going to be won that Yuki second Fukushima, game at a canter. That's 16 9 up. 23, and I was teasing you about the fact that you had fancied the Koreans for the second game but there is confirmation that fukushima and hirota are through to a third consecutive semi-final here at the all england championships 21 17 23 21 winning on their fourth match point opportunity just shy of the hour mark but three to the semi-final